Well, we've been here at uh, Point South Marina in uh, Panama City Beach for four nights now. We've got a good travel day, so we're going to relocate the boat. And uh, there's a tide here that uh, is around a foot and a half it's supposed to be. And uh, most of the time we've been here, we've had to step up quite a bit and use our ladder right there to get onto the boat. But um, I think it's just the fact that the timing is a little different and uh, first time we've been getting in and out of the boat at, at or near low tide. In fact, that's probably four or five inches higher than it was an hour ago. It was almost a straight step onto the boat from the dock. But it should be a beautiful day. It's chilly right now, 50-ish degrees, I'm guessing. But it uh, should be light winds, and we're only going about 10 miles to an anchorage just the other side of Panama City. Should be a good day. Hi, we're Mark and Mel. After raising four amazing daughters who are now raising our 12 grandchildren and helping people on land in the real estate business for over 30 years, we're now realizing our goal of a year-long adventure cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Paradise. This is a 6,000-mile journey through waterways that include the Atlantic and Gulf Intercoastal Waterways, Great Lakes, Canadian Heritage Canals, and inland rivers of America's Midwest cities. Join us as we navigate over 100 locks, explore cities large and small, and experience an unforgettable journey through America's Great Loop. So, good morning. I feel really bad, and I'll tell you why. I just went up South Point, or Bay, what are we at? Where are we? Point South Marina. <laughs> Point South Marina in Panama City. And they have a actual free laundry and uh, washer and dryer. Because they have one in a room, and it's, but it's free. And they even, they even supply the laundry detergent and the <coughs> dryer sheets. <coughs> Excuse me. But I feel so bad because... I put it on a fast wash so that I could get out of the way quick, get this done quick, and came back and got sidetracked. And so I, I took twice as long. I went, just went back after 20 minutes instead of 15, 10, 15 minutes, and uh, somebody was waiting, so I feel bad. But I got my stuff in the dryer, and they were like, oh, I get it, stuff happens. So they were really kind. But we are still in the midst of a couple of things that are, are a little frustrating to me. It's like a lot of the marinas around here are newer because there's been hurricanes. But because of that, they're great, nice new, new electrical and new docks and piers and, you know, but a lot of boats we're finding out, including ours, are not compatible you know i'm not an electrician i have no clue about this mark does all the stuff on the boat when it comes to the electrical the engine anything mechanical so you know but i'm finding a little frustrating because there's other boaters out there that are experiencing the same thing and it's just something sensitive will trip it will trip the breaker right can you explain that? <laughs> I, I don't understand why. And, and he's, he's checked everything. He is checked and he's done. We've <clears throat> fixed and flipped over 50 homes. I mean, he's done electrical on a lot of homes. And he was an auto mechanic, so he knows about this stuff. So the, the fact that even with all that, it's happening, it's just it's a tad frustrating to me. And he's being very calm about it. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Been running our generator. We can actually plug in and use the uh, electrical for the AC side. So um, we have heat, which is great because it's been cold and rainy all day. It rained yesterday. Mark was going through most everything on the boat yesterday to try and figure out what is incompatible on the appliance side of the electrical uh, panel. We are getting ready to move to another marina.
now or even anchor out. If the weather is good, we're going to start anchoring out more. I mean, we could do really just as good anchoring out because our generator is great mm -hmm. and we can use that and do the same rather than spend the money to be at a marina that we can't even really utilize um, the electrical appliances. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get creative. We are free and clear to stay as long as we want, wherever we want, and we're probably going to take the, um, the slow way around the bend and experience old Florida, which I'm excited about. Are you excited about that? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the bend she's referring to is the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> we have to cross the Gulf of Mexico. We have We're to cross, take the short route. We have to cross the Gulf of Mexico. Can you share a bit about our how much you think we get per uh, our mileage we get on these engines? No, <laughs> this is the previous owner. Previous okay. owner told us that he gets 2.8 gallons. The engines use 2.8 gallons per hour when running a single engine at 1,500 RPMs. <clears throat> but we'll work on calculating what fuel burn we have, and when we actually know for sure, we'll report that. <laughs> I know you like being accurate. We've gone, but it, we did figure out we've gone... 1,413 miles on our 6,000 mile journey. We've uh, filled up about three times. No, we filled up exactly three times. Exactly three times. <laughs> We've filled up exactly three times in Which those. Filled up with fuel. With fuel, diesel. Um, our tanks hold 400 gallons. gallons of fuel. And we've anchored out only eight times. So if we start anchoring out more often, that's, I'm excited about that. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you have to, <laughs> you have to well, have. It's, it's a lot cheaper. It's a lot it's, cheaper. It's free. It's free. My and favorite price is free. Your favorite price is free. And yeah. And so I think that's, that's important to keep the costs down as much as possible. And um, if we can't, use some of these newer facilities with the electrical, the newer electrical, we might as well anchor out. So um, that should get exciting to find safe anchorage. It was pretty windy the last couple nights. And please let us know what else that you want to find out about because um, we, we love these questions. We love hearing your ideas and questions and things that we should share. So where are we going now? East. <laughs> East. To one of these two anchorages. Okay, one of these two <laughs> anchorages.
Yes, we are being stopped and interrogated by the U.S. Customs boat. Apparently, look, we look like drug smugglers. Channel. <laughs> sharing our experiences with friends and family. stopped by the Border Patrol. We are. <clears throat> and so that's nice to know that our tax dollars are at work. So they come up alongside here and they get the driver's license and they get a registration for your boat. Make sure that you're legal. <clears throat> Just done a couple months ago. I don't know if the Coast Guard has actually processed it yet. I'm not, I've never done a Coast Guard registration prior to this boat, so this is the application, the numbers at the toward the left hand side. I can't see, so I'm going to come back. I'm sorry? What was your last port call? My last port call? Oh, you last you oh uh, we were at yeah, uh, Point we South we're Marina we're in uh, yeah. Panama City Beach. Yeah, we're not angry. Point okay. so South, just a few miles away. away. Yeah, just less than 10, yeah. <clears throat> we're on the city. Uh, uh, no, 759. We're Panama City. You want me to push you away? Uh, we're, we'll be all right. We got fenders out. Uh, you're coming into our, our stern. You got a fender out, right? Yeah, but it's not quite low enough. Let me lower it. Okay, you're good. You're good now. So you put the kayak in there, and then you use these as handrails to help you into it, huh? And then, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the step. I have no clue what that is. Oh, I just saw something come up in the water. Millville. That's the town here, I guess. <clears throat> the town here is called Millville. Oh. 
There's a marine over there, but we're anchored out. And this is a cute little public park where they have kayak, um, a little kayak dock and swings. Now this is very pleasant. What a nice little park. You can hear sirens. You can tell we're in the middle of town, but there's a paramedics over there, but so nice just to get out and be able to walk around. Okay, we just walked about a block, not even two blocks, to Millville up from, what's the anchorage? By, Bayou? Watson Bayou. Watson Bayou. So we're right near Panama City, or this is like part of Panama City, I guess. This is Millville. This is Millville. Millville. Which is really near Panama City. And we're gonna check out the this little, well, there's Jean's Oyster Bar, but they're closed today on Tuesday. So we're gonna check out this other place called um, Tropical Bar and Grill. How cute this place is. Oh, it's a little free library, I love it. But it's closed. So we were gonna go in here to the Tropical Drinks Bar and Restaurant but they're closed. And uh, look at this outdoor little patio. How cute is that? Look at that. Originals Charles Cotton Store, 1908. Jean's Oyster Bar, built 1930. It's originally located on this lot from 1910 until November 1929. It was destroyed in a major fire that consume most of the business district. It was rebuilt in 1930. This used to be a, the little business uh, district. This is one of the, the Bay County's oldest original Easter bars. 